Willie D. Live. Maybe that's where you get your balance from, you know, with that meditating and that, that self-care, you know, mm-hmm. having that moment that you can do that daily because from what I understand, that's pretty much what killed Robin Harris is that oh, yeah. working, he basically worked himself to death. Well, no, nah, he, he had, they had heart issues in their problem. So he had, yeah. Yeah, they had heart issues and already, you know, they had, you know. So had, he already yeah. had heart issues. Yeah. But. So you don't think that him having all of that work? Well, he he was he was get, he was getting in shape. He had stopped eating late night. Yeah, you know he probably was eating, drink, and do everything, hang out. You know, late night. And I'm like, whoa, yeah. you know what I'm saying? But then uh, he had stopped. He stopped when he started doing movies because um, he had a whole list of stuff on his plate. But it just happened, man. I mean, it, it just mm-hmm. was. You know, was was he going to the gym? Because he used to go to the gym a lot. Right. Had, got my gym membership. You know what I'm saying? Used to hoop and play basketball. Robinson, he was in shape. He was a track star. But that that happened right there. Just it was just an, an unfortunate because I think his mother died like that and his father. So okay, all so them, this yeah. is something that that was yeah, in, the, in the family. Yeah, this is this is something that yeah that you know it just like he didn't work himself to death. Yeah. Now to me, you know John Witherspoon, because you know he worked work work. I mean John Witherspoon was on the the, the road like more than me, and I was like John, you out here? It's fifty two weekends in a year, and you like you only. He was like, yeah, they work the shit out of me, man. I was like, yeah. I gotta tell my agent slow this down. And I was like, yeah, because I'm like, dude, this is this this it's a young man game when you got to get up and on these planes. You know what I'm saying? And then you have to be in shape to do that. Yeah, you do. I'm really. I mean, I'm in shape, but I have certain things that I do when I get off the plane. You know, to get beat, defeat the jet lag. You know what I'm saying? Or, or you know, I stand. I, you know, I do like an hourglass. I turn my body upside down and just get the blood up, new blood up to the to my my brain. And you know what I'm saying? Or I go work out and run, and I won't let that stuff catch up with me. I try to go to the gym and then shake all that stuff. So I ain't got all that bacteria. I ain't got all the people breathing on me. I ain't got all that stress and anxiety hanging on me from flying and, you know, just going, you know, just traveling. You know, you know, it's it's rough. And then being be able to do a show. So that's one of my little things that I do. But, you know, that stuff's a lifestyle, man. I've been doing this since I was like twelve. Yeah. Yeah, I was a wrestler, so I, I you know, wrestled and boxed. You played and football too, right? Played football, yeah. I went yeah. to college on a football wrestling scholarship. Right. So. University of Missouri. Lincoln University, yeah. Lincoln University. Yeah, HBCU. Okay. My, my sister oh. went to University of Missouri. She okay. had the big school. I went to right. Division II. She went to University of Missouri. She had better grades. She was a better athlete at the time. Yeah, but the, 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 <laughs> what I need to know, though, who had the best training facility? <laughs> <laughs> Missouri did. <laughs> we do now. I just came back from my homecoming. They just, man, they, oh my God. I'm like, what's... state of art now? Oh, it's state of art, man. Yeah. They got something called the Link, a state of art gym in it, and, and football team. And, you know, I mean, I can show it. it is, it's just nothing like when I was there or when I went back, but it's beautiful. There's no reason why they should be losing. Yeah. Do they salute you when you go there? Oh, yeah, man. Yeah, I yeah. got just about every award that the, the school can give me. I got my honorary yeah. doctor from there, Lifetime Achievement yeah. Award from there. I think my bus is hanging up somewhere. And I, and I went back. I went back and spoke to the football team, did my Dion speech. What? Yeah, so, yeah, it was, I was, that was a proud moment, man. Could, could you ever imagine doing that when you were out there cutting up? Because <laughs> I heard you, boy, I heard you used to oh. be a, a habitual line stepper back in the gap oh, when man. you were in school. Yeah, I was, yeah, yeah, I was, <laughs> got locked up a lot. <laughs> I was there. I was. I was what are you doing disturbing to get the peace. Up in college, man. Dude, I was out of control. No <laughs> curfew. My daddy wasn't there. You know, because they were. It's two hours away from St. Louis, so right. you know, I was essentially on my own, but getting into trouble, disturbing the peace, getting into fights, you know, wrestling and throwing and stuff, and you know, and then doing stuff where you had to go to court. Now, now were you no. were you behaving like this because you felt a little invincible because you were on the wrestling team and you guys were being celebrated? You thought you could get away with it? No, nah, I was just young, stupid, and drinking yeah. and smoking, doing stuff I'd never done before. You know, and back in my day, uh, it was like you're an athlete, so athletes don't do that. Yeah. So I did none of that in high school. I got to college. I was like, woo. Buck wild. Buck wild, man. Buck so wild. so the, the whole time that you're being raised by your parents, right. you know, there's... That's law Discipline. and order. Yeah. That's law and order. You yep. know what I'm saying? That's rules and regulations. Be in by 11.30, 12 right. o'clock. On my prom night, I had to be back at 12 o'clock. Right. On your prom night. Prom night. Okay. Well, <laughs> considering how things are today, you know, like I can't be mad at mom and pop. No, like that. no, no. Yeah. And I had my dad's car. He was like, 
And he and he, I came home like at like eleven thirty. Hey, can I hang out an extra hour? He said, Well, by the time you go and where you at, you, it's gonna be time to bring my car back. So uh-huh. take her home, <laughs> come on back. I was like, yeah. and you'll be back by twelve. I was like, Oh, come on, pop. So yeah, a little rebellion, a little freedom. You know what I'm saying? A little growing up. And then you get your own car, you get your own house. And I was a DJ, so I threw my own parties. So I, I was just man, I was just all over the place, man. You know. Was you making money throwing those parties? Yeah, man. Yeah, I, I used what, to make what, cassettes. What'd you, what you charge? Uh, back in the day, if you yeah. bring me a 40 ounce, and, you know, depends on whether the tape was 30 minutes or 60 minutes or 90 minutes, it's $5, $10, or yeah. $15. Yeah. And I still got some, you know, some nice slow mixes. You know, if you wanted to make love to your girlfriend, I've had some nice, you know, uh, you know, just made my own little mixtapes. And then if you wanted to kick it at a party, I did that thing, man. I had me a nice, yeah, I, I did I did after parties. Had me a little six cross fader I got from the pawn shop. Got me some Jensen speakers. Dude, I was there. Now, now where did you man. get this hustler mentality from? St. Louis, I guess. Or, or being a military brat, seeing my father yeah. just do do Your a lot of was stuff. In the Army, right? Yeah, my dad's Mississippi, yeah. so yeah, he's, yeah, yeah he, he did all that. He was straight from high school to war. Two tour, two tours of Vietnam. Yeah, two he was, tours. In yeah, Vietnam. yeah, he was. Yeah, he was. He was did, a real deal. Let me see. Did you know he was in Vietnam when when he was in Vietnam? No, right? no. You just know he was an Army man, and he used to go away and come. You didn't back. know he was in war. No, you didn't know yeah. the war was going on. You kind of did, but you didn't know what it was. At that time, because um, we're all base babies. So I was born in, you know, Newport News, Fort Eustis in Virginia. I'm a little brother, and they were born in, in, in uh, Seaside, California. You know, that's why I'm a Raider fan, because that was my first uniform. Right. So I was like, that age, I was up and then. Then we went to Seaside. No, we then went to Jamaica, Queens, New York. That's when my mother was getting away from him, because he used to come back. Yeah. PTSD. You know, yeah, you're choking people in the middle of the night, <laughs> drunk. Yeah, he yeah. was, yeah, he was, he was, yeah, he needed, he needed a little time to, you know, get himself together. And that's how I got to St. Louis. We just went from there to Jamaica, Queens to St. Louis. And that's when he retired and just, you know, finished, came back to the fam and yeah. instilled that more discipline. He was very strict. Oh, yeah, he played. So, did, who got the most whippings out of you? And, oh, me. I mean, oh, I mean, oh, out, yeah. out of you and, and Guy. Yeah, me, me. You I got, got the most whippings? Beatings, whippings. Punishments. You got the most whippings out of all of you. Oh, you all the it's kids. five of y'all. It's six of y'all. It's six right? of us, yeah. And who you got the most whippings out of everybody. No, man, I got it. I got it. Man. I got now, it. now, now why, why were you continuing to get all these whippings, <laughs> man? Like, you, 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 hey, you just hard-headed or what? I used like, to get whooped when we used to go visit our relatives. They used to be like, where are he at? And just start whooping me. Yeah, just for in case you do something. I used to be like, for real? Yeah. Yeah, you look like, yeah, we heard about you. I used to be like, for real? Uh, but, man, I was just a jokester, you know. And then I, I thought I was strong, so I used to pick, I used to, like, pick grown-ups up. Like, you can't pick me up. And I'd pick them up, get up on their feet, and slam them on the ground. They, what the, they little dudes strong, <laughs> especially when they was drunk. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> now, 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 did, did you have the type of relatives that didn't want you to come spend the night because they thought you was the bad kid, but they yeah. let your other siblings come over? Yeah. That was yeah. me. Yeah, that was you too. Yeah, that was like anybody but him. Yeah, <laughs> like what's wrong? I ain't gonna do nothing. Yeah, but yeah. the true part about it is that some of my other cousins, who my aunts were allowed to visit them, they were just as bad, but they were sneaky with it. Yeah, it was like you know, like my brother. Yeah. Oh my God, the guys is sneaky with it. I remember one time, man, he uh, he was trying to play basketball with us. My father was like, you know, I asked me, they had like movie night. It was like a nickel night or something like that. And my father was like, nah, you can't go. You know, and I was like, whatever. So um, so he thought I was mad about it. So I'm in the backyard playing basketball. He on the couch sleeping. And then my little brother come out and he trying to play with, with us. And he was like, you know, you're four years younger than us. Come on, man. You stop, you know. You know, and he's just in the way. He couldn't really play. So he's like, get your little brother, man. So I was like, go, man. So he, he took a rock and hit me in the back. With the rock, and tried to run in the house, and I grabbed him and I slammed him all over the backyard. And we didn't really have no court; it was dust, it was mud. So he went in there looking like pig pen, and um, yeah, and he, Joe whooped me, beat me. And my father just man, my father, yeah, he didn't ask rules. no questions. He just and I was like, wait a minute, he hit me with a brick. My man, my father bounced me off the basketball court, <laughs> he bounced me off. The, Bounced me. He beat me in front of my, my I, and I ran away for like two weeks. And I was like, "What?" And he, I was like, "What?" And I said, "He was like, you, you just mad? You don't do that to your brother? And you, you, you mad because you couldn't go to the movies?" And I was like, "And guy sitting back there laughing and no, looking like he did something I'm like this. He was the one. He was hit me with. I didn't do this. Right. But I never forget that. 
Did you resent your father for doing nah. that to you? Nah, man. You nah, man. I mean, you know, I, went, I had the best two weeks of my life. You know what I'm saying? I went and ran, you know, my my uh, best friend, you know, uh, my girlfriend would stay down, <laughs> down from, they was living in these apartment complex, so I, she happened to stay downstairs. So, hey, it was cool. <laughs> it was yeah. like, and my father, the thing was, it hurt me, and my father didn't even come look for me. Huh. <laughs> <laughs> Your dad was like, one less mouth to feed. Yeah. I was in school, so I'm like, uh, bring me some clothes and with my older brother. And I said, he looking, he ain't asked about you, man. I said, I ain't even come look for me, man. <laughs> I was like, man, he's like, How yeah. old were you at that time? Um, I, I was a sophomore, so I had to be about like sixteen, maybe fifteen, sixteen. Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. About about that time. <laughs> That's great. 